praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. Glory be to God. This is our Bible study day, and let's go into the to prayer this morning before the throne of grace. Let's go. Then we're going to let God speak to us because he has a word for us today to hear what the Spirit has to say to us. So let us go before the throne of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God. Thank you for this, this blessed day. We come before you, Lord, before the throne of grace, giving thanks, honoring you and praising you for being so good. You washed over us all last night. You didn't let any danger come to us, God. And we just want to honor you and give you praise and give you thanks. Thank you, Lord God, for this blessed day. As we honor you and praise you for you being so good and so kind towards us. You was there at all times, Father God, watching over us, Lord God, keeping us under your wings of protection. As those that continue to dwell in your secret place, you said that you will, Lord God. Keep us under your wings of protection. Father, we thank you today. As we go into your word, we want to have our ears attended to what you have to say to us today. Lord God, open up, let us open up our hearts to receive what you have to say to us. Let us walk in obedience, Father God, towards you, Lord God, knowing that you know all the truth and you are the living life that we need to live, Lord God. And we thank you. We honor you today. We give you praise because you are worthy, Lord God, to be praised, Lord God. We stand today on your word. There are no weapon formed against us going to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment. Father, we speak right now in the name of Jesus. Those tongues are condemned. Father God, we thank you that you walk with us. You talk with us each and every day. As we have an ear to attend to what you are saying, to be obedient, Father God, in every word. Because you said every man lives not by bread alone, but by every word, God. You said every word that proceeded out of your mouth. Father God, we honor you. We praise you. We thank you, Lord God. As I come in your name, Jesus Christ, in your name today, Lord God, there's been surrendering myself into your hand, that you touch my lip from the cold God of your altar right now, Lord God, and use me for your vessel. Lord, I surrender my heart. I surrender myself into your hand, that it's not of me, but all of you. Have your way, Lord God. Speak, Lord God. Check every word that comes out of my mouth. Speak that it's not of me, but all of you. Lord, I thank you, and I give you praise for this blessed day. We honor you. We love you because you first love us. We give you thanks, and we give you praise that you allow us to come in your presence right now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. We just thank God for this day. This is Minister Joy and Harris. This is Word faith ministry. We're in, I say word faith ministry because we is a ministry here, right here on YouTube. A ministry to feed the word. Go, God told us to go all over the nation and what? Spread the gospel. Come on, you that have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Come on, who the Son have set free. You are free. We are free to live this life. Let Christ live this life through us. Come on. We are free to what? Allow him to use us. We just vessels. We are just mouthpiece messengers for the Lord. Glory be to God. We thank God for that. For his word is coming for us today. Today we are talking about being in no more. Come on. Being no more slave to sin. No more slave to sin. Come on. Being no more slave to sin. Why? Because God have already sent his son for the 
profession of sin. Protection of sin. He already done paid the price. Sin debt is being paid for by the blood of the Lamb. Come on. It's already been what? Paid. So what? That's why he said, don't be no more, being no more slave unto sin. We're going to find out as the word of God comes before us. We need to know why we are walking in the right. Who are we a slave to? Are we are walking in his righteousness? Are the fruits are being shown in us on a day-by-day basis? Because what each and every day we are being molded more like Jesus. But it's up to us. This is what the Lord said. Being no more slave to sin because sin debt has already been paid. Satan is what? Is lying and deceiving others to know that to tell them that it's all right. Just to get them blind sighted before from God. But from what he done, he done paid the price. Jesus Christ had already paid the price for sin. He done paid the sin debt. It's been paid in full by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Let's go into the word of God and ask the Holy Spirit have his way to let us know, help us to examine ourselves daily. This is what God wanted. This is why the word, the gospel, come forth before we all, come on, we all examine ourselves daily and see what we are more slave, what, what we are more serving than we are God. Glory be to God. Because if you are serving the other gods, you're, you're in, in sin. Glory be to God. Let, let us go to uh, St. John the 8th chapter let's go there we're gonna start i know that we're gonna allow the holy spirit to have his way this might be a lot of word he's given but as he say do we're gonna obey come on let's go to uh saint john the eighth chapter and we're gonna start at the 31st this is jesus all talking about he he's among the, the Jews, the ones that supposed to have been what believing in him, like he said to us today. Come on, he said, then Jesus, come on, then said Jesus to those Jews, come on, which what believed on him. They believed on him. Come on. And if you continue in my word, this is what Jesus said. He said, then said Jesus to them. If what you continue in my word, then are you my disciples? Each and every one of us that once you get me to this this life of salvation, then you're what you're you're part of the, his disciples. Once you come into Christ, you are no more the outside. You are now. He's saying you you are my disciples. Come on. And he said, and ye shall know the truth. And if you say we're, we say we're in Christ, we should know what the truth is. And he said, you should know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That means when you know the truth, it will set you free. When you know wrong for right, he's looking for fruit. Righteous fruit. To be what? Buried in us. Let us not slack. He said, if you should know the truth, the truth shall make you free. And then they said, answered and said unto him, We are Abraham's seed. And we're, we're never in bondage to, unto any man. How says God shall we shall ye make us free? Because, see, they didn't know God. They hadn't even realized he already said the truth there. And that was Jesus Christ. Come on. They said, we are Abraham's seed. But Jesus is going to tell them. He said, Jesus answered and said, very, very, I say unto you. Come on. Whosoever committed sin is, is the servant. Come on. Of sin. So, 
if if he said to let them know that okay if you said you know abraham and you had the abraham faith why are you not what walking in this faith and this is what he said who the son said free is free indeed and then in the servant abideth not come on in the house forever but the son abideth forever he said for if the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed come on so because what the purpose what jesus was trying to let them know i come here to set you free from sin but you cannot set your seat because you believe in that what abraham done abraham had faith looking towards the messiah that will come this faith was anchored in everything that god said his faith was heading towards what the the son coming for that's his faith that's our faith you should look to jesus and you should not what continue in the same because we are not what under law we are in christ and now if your faith is anchored in jesus christ for your life come on in my life for what i believe in christ that i know that sin should not be what reigning and ruling in my life Come on. He said what? We don't, we should not be a slave to it. He said, but if the son therefore should make you free, you should be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed. Come on. He said, I know you're Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me. This is what Jesus said. Because my word has no place in you. This is what he said. If you say you in Abraham, Abraham is faith. He will call what? The father of faith. He will call the father of faith. So therefore, the what? He was letting them know, you want to do me evil? You want to kill me? But you say you in God? And you are, you, you are Abraham, is, you know, you in Abraham faith? Abraham didn't do evil. Abraham followed God because God is love. God is peace. So how could we hate one another when we say that we are in Christ? When we say we love God and we cannot love our fellow man. Come on. We cannot love one another. So this is what Jesus was telling. He said, and I speak that which I have seen with my father come on because of his father sent him his father speaking to him he said and ye do that which ye have seen with your father come out to death and, and this is what they're going to tell jesus they answered and said unto him abraham is our father now, this is what Jesus told him. Jesus said unto them, he said, that if Abraham were your father, come on, if Abraham were your, if if you was Abraham's children, then you would be what? Doing the work that Abraham done. He let him know. You would be doing the work. So this is what are you trying to let him know. Who, who, have, who are you serving now? Come on. You saying this that you were Abraham children. You just saying it, but he will let them know you wasn't living by that faith. You was not living by the faith that Abraham had. You just heard of it and know who Abraham was called the father of faith. But he let them know who y'all, who who they was walking after was the devil because he's a liar. Let's go on. He said, and, and, and indeed, okay, and ye indeed of your father. Then they said unto him that we do not are not born of fornication. We have no one father even but God. All right. So it ain't that ain't the only thing. Just because you say you're not fornicating, you're not, it mean you're not sleeping around you're not doing none of that or none of those things but if your faith is not anchored in jesus christ for your life just mean every 
area of your life. You got to look to him. Because you cannot live. You may not be doing this, but there's something. Jesus said you're following. You're following the devil. Because you don't believe in the word. You don't believe that our God sent me. Come on. When you don't believe that, then what? You're not following Christ. God sent his son, only begotten son, here on this, this earth. What? To, to what? To die on the cross, to shed his blood, only because of us. It wasn't his fault, it was our sin. And that's why he said, don't bring be no more slave to sin when sin has already been paid off in debt. The debt been paid off. But if your faith and not believing in my son, then you're going to pass. Come on. So he said, and Jesus said it to him, if God were your father, then you would love me. Come on. We go around, we don't love one another, we treat one, we do wicked, evil behind each other back. That's not the love of God. We try to set people up to fall. That's not the love of God. Come on. And that's what he would let him know. But y'all say, y'all, God is your father. But Abraham, y'all walk in Abraham faith, but you, you want to kill me? And God is love. God is peace. God is joy. God is love. So he said, he let them know. Come on, if if y'all, he said, for Jesus said, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and come from God. He let them know, God sent me. But you you don't want to receive me. God sent me. But you will not receive me. This is what God telling us today. You won't receive my son. I cannot accept. Because I have to see what? My son through me. That's why we have to be more and more like Christ. Christ has already dealt with the sin. So that's why he's letting us know why we should continue when sin debt has already been paid in full. Who are you a slave to? Are you a slave to God? Or are you a slave to sin? So he said, God, I come from God. Neither can I myself. Come on. But he sent me. I can do this. God, I'm doing what God commanded me to do. He said, and why do you not understand my speech? <laughs> what he said, how can you not understand that God sent me? That I'm speaking the word. I'm speaking the truth. See, to who the, who the son says free, that's the only way you're going to be free is through Jesus Christ. He sets us free. He has set us free. But it's our faith. And if we say we're the seed of Abraham, then we must walk in that same faith Abraham was walking in. That faith was heading towards in the time his faith was in God. His faith was in his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus made, had not come on the scene, but it was already foretold from the beginning of time. That there will be one that's going to come. Come on. For the whole world. Glory be to God. He said, why do you not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Come on. You don't hear my word. This is what he said. You're not hearing my word. Ye are of your father, the devil. Come on. Ye are of the father of the devil. And the lust of your father will ye do. So he was letting them know, you're not following God. You said God, but you're not following him. You know the law, 
but you're not following after the after the righteousness of God. Oh, he done sent his son. He sent me. This is what Jesus said. He sent me. I am that truth that he have sent. I'm the word. I'm the word that dwells right among you. Take my word. Because my word that I'm speaking is not coming from me. This is what Jesus said. It's coming from God. Glory be to God. And he said what? And you are the father of the devil. And the lust of your father ye will do. And he was and, and he was was a murderer from the beginning. He said, Your father, the devil. That's who he's saying. He's a murderer from the beginning. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what saved me. So that's what he said. He is a murderer in the beginning. That's what he is. And he he abide not in the truth. He's a liar. And the truth is not in him. In Satan. So who are you being a slave to? Who are you following? Come on today. Who are you believing in? Everything that Satan is telling y'all? Because if you're not walking in the love of God, then you're walking in the, you, you, the devil is your father. Come on. Because Satan sinned from the beginning. First John 3 in there tells you that you could be the children of God because what? They failed to not to sin. They don't want to sin. Come on. But he said what? He, he, he was a murderer. This is what you father follow after. That's what you letting them know. From the beginning. And he abide not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Come on. And when he speaks, he speaks lies. <laughs> That's what he is. He's a thief. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundant. But he said, Satan come to what? To kill you. To steal, kill, and destroy. He wanted to destroy your joy. If you don't have faith, then the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's what Satan come to do. To steal your peace. He finding everything he can. That's why God said, Jesus was telling them, this is who the father you follow. Because if you want to murder me, the devil, he, he come to kill you. He not come to give you life. I came to give you life. Glory be to God. He said, I come to give you life. And they say, when he speak, he speak loud. And he speaks of his own, and for he is a liar. Glory be to God. That's what he didn't let him know. Satan is a liar. That's who y'all follow. And the father of it. He's a father of lies. Satan is deceiving you. If you are continuing in this sin, Satan, he letting them know. Satan is deceiving you. Come on. And and because I tell you the truth. Ye believe me not. Glory be to God. You believe me not. This is what Jesus said. This is what he's telling us today. Who are you, Father? Who are you a serving our slave to? Come on. Because he just demonstrated to us that what Satan is. Satan sin from the beginning. He's a liar. He's a murderer. Glory be to God. He's a thief. He lies from the beginning. And he's a what? A father of lies. Glory be to God. And this is what Jesus was telling us. Let's go to uh, 1 John 3. Let's go there. It said, 1 John 3 and 8 says this. It said, he that committed sin is of the devil. See, that's what Jesus was trying to tell them. If you're not falling in the faith that you say you we're in Abraham faith, if you're not falling in Abraham, Abraham followed God. And God sent me. This is what Jesus said. And he said, if you don't believe in the Son, 
you you cannot reach the father because the father only see us through jesus christ if he can see jesus in us then that's the only way he can do and see us because he see his son i mean he see the fruits of being bare in us because he let them know he letting us know today are we a slave to sin we should not be a slave to sin anymore glory be to god for he said what for he that committed sin is of the devil but the devil sinned from the beginning we just got through he just got through telling them what satan does he's a liar a thief he's a murderer come on he says for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil and christ have already destroyed it was manifest that he destroyed the works of sin and that sin comes from the devil he said it came from the beginning when he called man the father sin come in because of that father but god sent his son jesus christ that whosoever believes in him shall not pass but have what life everlasting life so we, this is what jesus is telling us today come on he just told us here that it say the sin from the beginning and if you you're being a slave to sin come on we know wrong from right that's why god that's why jesus was teaching them the word for the god them to be what more and more fruitful to bear more fruit because if you're not abiding in him come on you cannot be connected to the father you must connect to jesus Come on and let Jesus live this life because you are no more, come on, slave to see it anymore. We are no more should be walking in that old man anymore. We shouldn't and we should not walk in that particular way. Faith in Jesus Christ. That's all God has. He said, whosoever believes it. Come on. John 3, 16. For God so loved us all. He loved you. But everybody's not his children. Come on. He tells us over here. In 1 John. Come on. 1 John 3. He tells us. 1 John 3 tells us. And if God called us the children. That means you're his children. But if you're walking in sin. You the the devil, that's what he was telling the Jews. You walking in sin and continuing in your sin and not obeying God's word, word and you're not hearing me because it's it's I that's gonna set you free. I came to set you free. Who the son set free? He said, You're free. So when you and anchor your faith in Jesus Christ, then you're free. You're no more a slave to sin. Sin should not have dominion over your life. Because what? He lives in you. Jesus lives in you. And when sin try to buy, he will what? The Holy Ghost going to kick it out. And if you got to, it's our job to what? To be obedient. And once we're not being obedient, that's what he said. Once y'all did not receive me, then you receiving somebody else. So when you're not walking in obedience to what I'm telling you, speaking to you, I'm speaking the truth to you. See, I'm speaking the truth. I come from God. I'm speaking what God telling me to say. That's what Jesus is saying. But if you cannot receive me, you're receiving somebody else. It must be the devil. Because if you were receiving God, and if you was in God, he said, you would receive what I'm saying. You would not try to kill me. A lot of times we say we 
we're in Christ and we're hurting somebody else. Don't think because they may not know they're innocent and they don't know you behind their back. You with jealousy. It's a rage. Come on. All of this is seen. Causing you. It's come from the devil. Malice. See, we just think that, well, I'm not just where they were. I'm not fornicating. I'm not doing those kind of things. Come on. I'm not drinking. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm clear. That, that's not, if you're okay. And you got, there's more than that just to see. Come on. We don't read. And we're walking in sin and don't realize. And that's why God telling us today, if you truly are free, you will no more longer be a slave. Come on, to sin. But if you allow sin to rule and reign in you, against what God's word say, but reading what he said, you're not abiding in my word. The reason sin is, 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 is captured up because what reason we are in the, being a slave to it? Because what we are walking out 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 towards our lustful flesh. That's what he was telling him. You're not walking in the faith. You're not trusting because Abraham trusted God for everything. So if you was like the, if you were trusting God like Abraham, you said he's your father. Abraham was in Christ, in God. He was so believed God, everything God said. So why are you not believing what the word said? Well, God sent me. This is what Jesus was saying. And he's saying that to us today. Be no more. Come on, being no more slave to sin. Knowing that Jesus already paid the debt. What's the purpose? There's no more he's going to the cross. The cross, the blood, and I already done what it's supposed to do. It's our faith to get on board. Get your faith connected to Jesus. Believe that I should not be walking in it. I should not be trying to hate on nobody else. I should not, because that's not a cross. God is love. And if I'm going to walk in the love of God, then I got to be obedient to what he his words say. No matter what someone do, you don't have to revenge. No matter what they try to set you up, you trust the Lord. Come on. God see everything. That's why you say, pray not yourself because of those that do evil. But Jesus has called them out. If y'all, if you say you so in me, in God, then you should be here the truth. Because it's me that's going to set you free. It say who the son set free. You are free. That means who you follow. If you follow in Christ and you anchor your faith in him for your life, knowing that you cannot live it without him. You stay abiding in his word. Because his word, he said, cleanse. Stay connected. And if you stay connected to Jesus, you will see life changing. You will see you will be more and more like Christ. That old man should not be ruling and reigning because you were buried with Christ. You were crucified with him. Your old man was. Now, when Christ raised from the dead, Come on, he raised up in the newness of life. Then your life are new. Those that trust in him. Glory be to God. Let's go to Romans um, 6. Let's go there. Glory be to God. God wants us to see where we are at. We heard about it. He said, if you're walking in committing these sins, Come on. Don't just look at one person. We all need to examine myself. Examine all ourselves to see are you in the faith? Glory be to God. Let's go to uh, Romans 6. 
And he tells us this in Romans 6. We know the first verse. I like to read that first verse. This is what Paul was telling us. He said, what should we say then? That's the first verse. But we're going to skip on down. He said, what should we say then? Should we continue in sin? Come on. That grace may abound. God forbid. I mean, God forbid you to continue in practice. He said, he should, he said, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Come on. Knowing that you were, were so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ. Come on. Was baptized into that death. Once you went in Christ was buried, he buried your sin, he buried your old man. That old man that was doing it, once you say, yes, Lord, I need you. I need a savior in my life. Rescue me from this sin. Deliver me, God. When you cried out and said, Lord, I need you. I need a savior in my life. And once you said that, then he was. All your sin was gone. That faith that you placed in Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, washed you clean. Because the blood has streamed down on this earth. That means what? For all on this earth that who accept him. That's what Jesus said. Who all that whosoever believe on him. That means believe that Jesus died for your sin today. In your heart. That you got to want to come out. And it's him. Look into him. Like Paul said, you shouldn't continue. If you believe if your faith is in Jesus, that Jesus died for your sin, why am I sin? That's what Paul was saying, paraphrasing. He said, why are you continuing in sin if you say you believe? If you say you're in Christ and you accept him, then why are you continue? He said, God forbid. Come on, you're not under law to try to bring, try to do it on your own. If, because if I get, go get an animal, you're not under that. Jesus was the lamb, the true lamb. Now, now your faith should know that now all you got to have is faith in your heart to believe that I should not be a slave to sin anymore. Now I'm in Christ. I believe in my heart. Let's go to the, let's say in this one, let's go to down to the sixth verse. And it says this, knowing this, this is what he tells another, knowing this, that our old man, come on, our old man is crucified with him. That old man, when Jesus went down, I was old man that those that believed that Jesus died on the cross. Those that was back then and us, we that is now, we must what, what, believe that what he have done already, that I'm free. That who the Son set free, we are free indeed. Glory be to God. And he says this, that you are crucified with him. That the body of sin may, might be what? Destroyed. That Henceforth, we should not serve sin. Come on. Not be a what? A slave to sin. That's what it is. When you serve in sin, learn what it is. We know wrong from right. You know what's against God's word if you were getting in it. But that's where the devil blind us because he don't want you to get in the word. Because he don't want you to know the truth. Because he feel like if you know the truth, you're going to find yourself. Then you're going to begin to believe God. You're going to believe that Jesus died for my sin. You're going to remember. That's what Paul was trying to let them know. You shouldn't continue in this if you say you in Christ. Remember. This is what he said. Know this now. Remember. That when you say, you say yes, Lord, I need you in my life. I forgive me for my sin. When you repent, now, why are we allowing the enemy to bring us back into slavery? That's what he said. 
Come on. We we don't have to name our friends. People know when they wrong. When you doing that, like Jesus said, well, why y'all want to kill me? When you you can kill somebody because you want to kill that character. God see that. Then you say, I'm a Christian. We 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 put on an act at church, and then we want to hate our brothers and sisters. We want to we be jealous so that we want to keep them down. I want to show them something. That's of the devil. You, the devil is your father. Because God is love. He's peace. And he told us to have peace with all men. We have to examine ourselves. Just because someone made you mad so you got jealous and don't like what they do, you are not in the right field. You are, you are being, the devil is being your father right now. Come away from me. You truly in Christ, the love of God should be shed abroad in your heart. You will be able to love that name. Come on. You should be able to love that person no matter what they do. done. The love of God will share so abroad in your heart that it won't be you treating them so good. It'll be the, the Lord using you, working in you, because you being more and more. you drawing more and more and being more like Christ. He's molding you to being more like his son. Glory be to God. Let's go on. They said what? We should not be a, like a servant to sin. He said, for he that is dead is free from sin. That means your old man, that old life that you used to live, you should not be living it as you say you're a Christian. Christianity means Christ life. And if you're, that means that I should be, my lifestyle should be more like Jesus Christ. Come on. I should be trusting him even when I make a mistake. I should trust in God and get me back because he's there to correct me. And when he corrects you, take heed and be obedient. That's your faith. To be obedient. When I see where I'm going wrong, to be obedient and get it right. Because God looking for root, fruit, right fruit, right fruit, right fruit, right fruit in you. And those fruits got to bear in each and every one of us that say we are in Jesus Christ. He's looking for right fruit. Righteous fruit. Come on. And he said what? You are free from sin. Now, if you if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we should what? Also live with him. Come on. Knowing that Christ being what raised from the dead died no more he he's not going back to no cross he done already paid the price he's already destroyed the works of the devil he said what for, for for he said christ being raised from the dead dies no more death have no more dominion over you come on over him not over God, and if you in Christ, there's no more over you. He said, for in that he died, and he died unto sin once. I mean, he died once. He had already paid it. There ain't no more going back to the cross. Come on. He paid what? Once. He said he died once. Died unto sin once. But that but in that he would live. He lives unto God. Likewise, reckon unto yourself that you, that you, that uh, be dead. That those that say that you're dead, your sin, your old man, dead unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, if you say you. You, your sins are gone, and we are saying my sin is gone, but we still sin. 
we still say a uh, slave to the sin. Our mouth is saying it, but our heart is far from it. And that's what he's telling us. Come on. He said, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. That means don't let my hand go and do things that it should not be done against God. Come on. And that, and that ye may obey it in the love thereof. Don't allow your sin to cause you to go against God. The love that I desire to want to do what the world do and how the world do it against the will of God's word of being obedient to God. Because you're going to be a slave to it. He said, neither yield your members as an instrument unto what? He said, yield, neither yield your your members as an instrument unto unrighteousness. Come on. Don't yield your instrument no matter this body. It's a living sacrifice. Hold it. it got to be acceptable before God. You can't do anything in yourself because you is not your own. Your life is in Christ Jesus now. So you are not living this life. It's Christ living it. If you got the pride to say you're doing this on your own, then you out of place with God. Because you got to allow him to live it through you. Glory be to God. For he said, don't yield your instrument to unrighteousness, unto sin. But yield yourself unto God. As those that are alive and from the, from the dead, and you and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. We are only righteous to unto God through Jesus Christ. We are the righteousness only through Jesus Christ. Your faith believing in Jesus, knowing that now I can I am free. I'm free from being a slave to sin. I'm free. Sin should not what have dominion over you. That's because you got a savior that's living this life through you to correct you. Come on. To tell you what's wrong. He, the law is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Now we can look to him for help. No matter what the enemy comes and tell. That's why he said, don't yield that way. Yield unto your righteous. And when we're yielding against what God saying in righteousness, then we're what? Yielding to the sin. Then we are slave to Satan. That's what he tells us. Then you're slave. He says, sin should not have dominion over you. You are now, come on, uh, not under the law. You are now not under the law, but under grace. You're under grace. You are not under the law. Glory be to God. You are under grace. Grace is through Jesus Christ. Now you have that access to walk in this freedom. That means not. Not let your be no servant. Come on. What did you we we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. God forget forbid. Don't feel like, well, Jesus and died for my sin. Yes, he has. But your faith got to stay anchored. Your faith got to believe that now I should not be sinning when Christ has already did, dealt with it. That's why he said, don't take it for granted. God forbid you to just use it as a as a uh, occasion to the sin because you feel like, well, Christ has already died on the cross for my sin. sin that, that means for you not to continue. Know ye not that that whosoever yield their self, yourself as servant to obe to obedience, who they say, know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself a servant to obey. Then what? His servants are ye. Come on. To whom you obey. That's who you obey. You either obey Christ or you obey sin. You obey sin. 
whether of sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. This is a quote that he will say. But God be thanked that ye were you were was a sin to you was a servant to sin. That means you was a slave to sin. Yeah, but that you now obey from your heart. Come on. From with the doctrine which was delivered to you, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which was delivered to you. Come on. And this is what God is telling us. While we were the children who God has set free, you're free. If you continue in that sin, no matter what it's sin, in the it's sin is sin. Whether you're fornicating, whether you commit adultery, whether you're lying, cheating, whatever, jealousy, all of these things. We need to get to know what's going on in us. Uh, we are practicing these things. And if we are, we are practicing these things. And like Paul said, you should not have dominion. They should not be a dominion over your life. If you believe in your heart that Christ already. Come on. When you came to Jesus Christ, you are free now. You are free to live a holy, righteous life. Because that's what he's looking for. Truth. And that means if I'm not walking in, in that righteousness, that who I proclaim, then what? My fruit, my tree is not bearing good fruit. And we must what? Bear good fruit. Praise the Lord. I just thank God for his word today. And there's more we could say, but when the Holy Ghost says, that's enough. Just to let us know where we, who we are following, who are we are serving to. If I'm continuing in them thing, in these things, and God said he forbid for me to continue to go that way, then I'm being a servant to eat one of the, the, the sin, or either I'm going to be a servant to God. And the only way I can be a servant to God is in his own state anchored in Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. We just thank God for his word. We always like to give someone an invitation to Jesus Christ. To accept him. We just want to say come to Jesus. From your heart. If you need him. And we all need him. We all need a Savior. But it's not if. You need him in your life. Jesus already the paid the price. That what? That we can be free. Who the son said free. We are free indeed. We are no more. Come on slave to sin. Because once you come to Christ and say, come into my heart. Let go myself. Myself is this love of what I want to do. But if I surrender, and y'all, you have to say, Lord, here I am. And I'm crying out from my heart. Save me. Because I know you are the Savior of this world. And you came that we can have life. That's all you got to believe in your heart. And crowd and say, save me, Jesus. And he'll hear you because he hears the heart. He gives ears to, his, to the ones that cry out and call upon his name. And you shall be saved. Glory be to God. But you got to believe it in your heart. And then you believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sin. Today you are saved. Then sin should not what? Have no more dominion. You should not be no more slave to sin. Glory be to God. We just thank God for his word. I love you. This is Minister Joanne Harris. And this is Word Faith Ministry. I love you and God love you more. Praise the Lord.